All right, what's going on everyone? It's Josh here from Crypto Busy, and today we're going to be looking at uh, Bitcoin, the market as a whole, and a few other coins along the way, along with some news articles. I just want to say a big thank you to all the subscribers recently. We've uh, had a massive influx, and we're over 11,500 subscribers now, which is just insane, considering we only hit 10,000 a few days ago. But welcome to all you new guys, and also welcome back for all you current Crypto Busy subscribers. Now let's get into the video. So Bitcoin is currently at $8,775, which is unfortunately quite a dip from where we last saw it. You know, we saw it testing those 10,000 marks quite a few times as well as sticking around the 9,500 plus mark. But now we've actually broken through that and we've seen around an $8,600 to $700 Bitcoin. That's making people a little more worried. Now the question I'm gonna be answering hopefully is should you be worried? Where do I think the market's going? and uh, kind of should you be investing now or should you be waiting and of course none of this is financial advice it's all my opinion and speculation but hopefully i can give you guys some good insight now one more thing i want to point out is i made a video two or three days ago on the 21st of may and uh, it's almost at 10,000 views now so thanks for all the support there and it was on five altcoins that could 100x in for my tw not in 2020 but it was like good crypto gems to look at in 2020 so i picked five coins but two of them were Zillica and if we look over here VeChain right and that was literally three or four days ago and you can see the prices of what they were so Zillica at just under 0 0.0 0 0.19 cents and uh, VeChain at what was it 0 0.004 cents now if you look at Zillica now we've seen almost a 40% gain since that video as well as an almost a 10% gain with VeChain so guys if you did get an in, in on those coins uh, after my video then huge congrats and I hope you made lots of money but let's have a look at a bit technical analysis on Bitcoin so I'm going to show you a trade that I've actually taken on the one hour chart and I'm still in it for now but I might close it out soon so let me just bring that up there so it was actually a short position on Bitcoin on the one hour chart uh, and I took the position here and it was almost a one to five risk reward ratio which is very good um, and I want to ride it down to support over here now feel free to join along with this trade if you want but you know again not financial advice it's just my uh, my opinion but I see it going down here to recent support levels and let me just talk to you the thought process behind my trade because I really want to help you guys learn how to take trades like these and get profitable so if we look at the, where it was right so I'm using three different uh, moving averages here I'm using the blue line here is the 50 period smooth moving average and the purple line is the 20 period exponential moving average and the orange line is the 10 period exponential moving average I was looking for a cross down below the 50 smooth moving average which we got here so blue line is above the rest of the price so that's good for a downtrend and then I was looking for price to actually retest that blue line and when it did I was also looking for a confluence with the RSI to go overboard which it did as well as there was a very nice level here which acted as support here and resistance here so then i knew that was time to pull the trigger when we came back in from overbought into a normal condition i pulled the trigger there and we got into bitcoin around 9260 and we rode, we rode it right down to 8600 and uh, i'm hoping to see it go down to about 8500 before bouncing back so that is the logical place in my opinion if we go to the daily chart um, you'll see it that's been a, uh, a huge level of support and resistance in the past that 8500 mark so I'm really si expecting it to see there and not really break below the 8200 if it breaks down below 8200 then I think it's a little bit more reasonable to be uh, worried in the, in the short term for the price because I think maybe we will see more of a downtrend start but I potentially think this could just be kind of whales pushing price down to support accumulating more at a at a lower price before we see a head up so what I would actually expect to see is something a little bit more like this so a, a push down into that level of support and then a nice bounce up back up to test that ten thousand dollar mark so what I would say is I would say potentially it might be wise to wait for that eight thousand five hundred dollar mark or just buy on the way down from now and uh, we we could hopefully see a nice rebound within the next month or so uh, if not shorter but but yeah that's pretty much it for the technical side of bitcoin uh let's move on to some news articles so 
we got here saying as Bitcoin falls to two week lows, small investors look to be buying. We've got a lot of news articles recently I found out are quite bullish, which is a really nice change to see because a lot of the time we've had scam here, scam there, this crypto exchange got hacked, whatever, whatever. But now it seems to be like, oh, people are buying, people are bullish on crypto, people see that there is a use in crypto. So I think that's really good to see that kind of mainstream media adoption there. Now, it's good that we see that the price hasn't just completely tanked. If the price had just tanked and tanked, we would have seen there's a lot of bearish sentiment, but luckily it seems there's a lot of bullish sentiment still in the market and a good way you guys can use it. And we're not affiliated with them at all, but I thought I've been using it recently and it's actually how I picked out Zilliqa as a good coin pick. It's called Luna Crush. Um, I just found it recently actually, and it basically measures sentiment and uh, social engagement for different cryptocurrencies over like Twitter and stuff. So that's actually really helpful because a lot of people might think, oh, it's just Twitter, it doesn't mean anything. But in reality, sentiment is what drives the market. Yes, there are whales and all that, but if the majority of people are bullish, where do you think the price is going to go? Now, as you can see here, the overall sentiment in the last 24 hours of the market was 73.5% bullish. So that says to me, hey, look, we might, we might be heading down a little bit everyone's still ready to buy and people are buying on the way down and that is something that's really really important because if this was if this number was below 60 percent i would probably say okay people are turning turning around and they're saying okay i don't want any part of this anymore so it might be wise to check back tomorrow and see what this number is uh, i'll definitely be doing that but uh that's just an idea guys and you could use this for all altcoins as well i found so you can literally type in an altcoin that you like and it will tell you the engagement the social sentiment stuff like that and it really helps you figure out which coins might burst such as zillica and vchain did furthermore so bitcoin's twitter sentiment data here rolled up by a blockchain data firm also said that there are over 34 million bitcoin related tweets every single week which is crazy because this is way more than we've seen in the past meaning not only are we more bullish but it's getting more exposure and exposure is key guys exposure is key for bitcoin and cryptocurrency and not only bullish sentiment with people that own it but exposure to people that don't own it to start owning it so i, I hope that makes sense and i think uh, bitcoin's twitter sentiment as well as just its social presence along with other coins as well in the market really being good really helps out Furthermore, we've got a golden cross invalidated, which unfortunately is not a good thing. So a golden cross, for those, of, for those of you that don't know, is when these two moving averages, I won't go into depth, but so the golden cross in technical analysis is something that a lot of traders look to. Um, it can be, it can work, it can not work. You know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It, it applies more to stocks than it does, for example, foreign exchange. Uh, we're still yet to kind of test out how it plays out over many, many years on cryptocurrency, but it seems to have been quite good but essentially it's a bullish signal when two moving averages cross a certain way showing that price will most likely increase and unfortunately this golden cross was invalidated due to the recent dumping but Andreessen Horowitz the big firm that's actually started a cryptocurrency fund with which is worth over 515 million I think uh, has actually predicted the fourth crypto cycle so we've heard a lot about this on this channel we've talked a lot about this fourth cycle, this fourth phase of crypto, and we could potentially be seeing something like, we could potentially be seeing something similar to 2017 happening again. Maybe not this year, maybe next year, but in the near future, guys, we could see some kind of gains that will be life-changing for everyone involved in crypto. And I really hope to see that, of course, who wouldn't? But um, I, we're just gonna have to wait and see for that. Now, Forbes again is saying uh, there was a big dumping, but, same thing again with um, same thing again with the firm Andreessen Horowitz announcing their crypto fund last month. They predict a possibility of a fourth crypto cycle, and this this cycle is really really important to think about. But that's pretty much it, guys, in terms of uh, news articles and uh, cryptocurrency analysis. We can just take a quick look at the market as well as a whole. So Ethereum's around two hundred and three dollars, which is quite healthy. Uh, Tether obviously is one dollar, but it is number three now and a lot of people are shaken up about that I wouldn't worry too much about that as it is just Tether It's not like Tether's gonna go to ten dollars or anything because it is fixed at the dollar rate um, XRP just under 20 cents unfortunately uh, I do uh, As you know, we're very bullish on XRP on this channel as a long-term hold Let's have a look what's doing well. Obviously Zilliqa and VeChain are doing well as I mentioned earlier iost as well iost is another one which actually had a really good social rating so that could have been a good gain if you guys got into that theta still making gains even after the huge run it's had recently 
But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're gaining so many more and it'd be great if you guys jumped on the Crypto Busy community. And uh, join our Telegram, Twitter, all that kind of stuff will be linked in the description. And I hope you have a good day guys. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next video.